Hi Saints, um, this is a follow up to the video that I made saying um, I believe that Donald Trump, I believe I had a, a dream that Donald Trump won the presidency. And then I did another video saying will Donald Trump be nominated and I told you that I believe that he is because Lord told me that he's going to be nominated. He's going to be nominated as a candidate. Now, um, the Lord Jesus Christ told me, I'm not, like, like I said, I prayed on this, but I felt in my spirit, I'm not stating this is fact, the Lord Jesus Christ had told me that he was going to be nominated. Trump was going to be nominated. Well, today, uh, Trump won Indiana, and Trump has enough delegations, enough delegates, I'm sorry, to be nominated, and the Republicans, um, has announced that he is their presidential nominee. I mean, he has more than enough to be a nominee. So, um, the mainstream media news, I don't know if they're covering this because a lot of times they like to lie, especially when it comes to a situation like this, but Trump was nominated as a Republican president. I mean, I looked at, you need, you need like 1,400 delegates to be nominated. And he has enough. He has that. Um, I don't know who the Do Democratic nominee is going to be, but Donald Trump is the Republican nominee. I believe he's been nominated as Republican um, candidate for president. Now, according to the dream that I had, and I'm going to leave a, a link below with that video, and a link below, I did a follow-up saying that I have reason to believe that Trump is going to be nominated because... Um, this, I didn't tell you guys this, but, but I believe that he was going to be nominated. And this is something the Lord has revealed to me. That I believe that this man is going to be nominated as the Republican president. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be... I have, I'm not saying he's going to all be president or whatever. But I believe that, you know, he's going to win. You know, I, I, I had a dream that I believe that he won the presidency. Um, He won the presidency, but again... Uh, if a president wins a presidency, if let's say if Trump wins a presidency, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be him. You have to understand that Jesus Christ speaks in parables. Okay? Um, what it could mean, because in the dream uh, that I had about Trump winning, that I believe that he won the presidency, it was his face. It was indeed his face. But... In the dream, I seen his face morphed a little bit. Now, I know that the man's possessed by demons. I mean, he's a mason. Everybody knows that. But what I'm saying here is that the next president could be exactly like Donald Trump. As bad as he is, evil as he is, because Trump is going to be worse than Obama. So he could be exactly like Donald Trump. That's what the dream means. So I believe that the Lord was showing me that Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States or, or somebody exactly like him will be sitting in the White House. Somebody who's exactly like Donald Trump, wealthy, a tyrant, a dictator. So it'll either be Donald Trump or somebody exactly like him. Now, I asked the Lord... For to you know, if it will be Donald Trump for sure, who will win the presidency? The Lord told me He speaks in parables, and He will only reveal what He sees fit to reveal. And what He has revealed to me at this time is that the person that is going to be sitting in the White House is going to be either Donald Trump or somebody like him, wealthy, a tyrant, somebody like him. Now. The Lord knows who exactly is going to be president. I wasn't given that information who exactly was going to be president. The Lord is speaking to me in parables. I asked the Lord, is it going to be the Trump or somebody else? And then the Lord said that it's something he cannot reveal to me yet. And I respect the Father's wishes. But his was disturbing. Trump is the Republican nominee for, for the President of the United States. He's on his way to winning. He's on his way. He is attracting 
so many people. I mean, like, what he is talking, the, the pitch he's giving you guys, how he's trying to sell you guys, not all of you, but a lot of you, a lot of people are falling for it. And they are trusting this man. I'm telling you people, you don't know what you're asking for. Because this man, whether it's Trump or somebody else, is going to be worse than Obama. Now the dream that I had, that I said I believe Trump won the presidency, that means that either it's going to be Trump or it's going to be somebody just like him. Wealthy, powerful, a tyrant. Okay? That he can pitch a good game. You got you to gotta understand something here. This man is a businessman. It is his nature to sell. He can sell anything. That's his nature, to sell. That's why in these last days you have to be covered with the blood of the lamb and you cannot be deceived. This man can sell a, a pair of socks. He could sell. And he's using those very same talents to win the presidency. He's trying to sell himself. And it's working. He's a businessman. You have to understand that. He looks at the presidency as a business acquirement. Like he's taking over a large corporation. That's how he sees it and that's how he's going to run the United States like a business. And you ask any employer that works for him, this man is a dictator. He's a tyrant. He is not the kind of president you want sitting in the White House. He is not a Christian. He is 20,000 times worse than Obama. You think Obama's bad? This man is worse. So when you people get down to the polls, okay, I suggest you don't exercise your right to vote. Because if you vote for this man, you're going to regret it. I'm going to keep these videos up. And I'm telling you right now, mark my words, the minute this man is in office... And he's inaugurated as president. He's in office. He's going to start putting his uh, policies in place. And you're not going to like it. It's going to oppress the American people. And your, your civil rights are going to be further stripped. You think Christians got it bad under this man? It's going to be worse. I'm not telling you people what to do. I'm giving you a suggestion. I'm not voting for anybody. I don't trust anybody. Obama's a scumbag, excuse my French. Trump is a scumbag. He is worse than Obama. He is the worst. He is going to drag this nation even now. You think he's going to close the borders? You think he's going to stop the Muslim immigration? There's an agenda behind that. And he's got to play with the, he's got to play with the, um, you know, I'm going to rephrase that. He's got to go with the program. Because the one that wants to sit him in the White House are the elites. And the reason why the elites are allowed to let him sit in the White House is because Jesus Christ allows it. Jesus is using the elites as part of judgment on the United States. The Lord told me, if you look back at my video archives, that he was going to send a dark king worse than Obama. If not Obama, it was going to be somebody worse to the United States because you turn your back on God. Trump is the worst. He's worse than Obama. I don't know why you people are feeding into his bowl. Excuse my expression. Because he's a liar. He's the worst. He doesn't have your best interests at heart. The minute he's inaugurated, he's going to start setting executive orders left and right. The minute he's inaugurated. And one of those executive orders, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to target Christians and he's pretty much going to pick up where Obama left off. He's going to continue, he's going to continue to target gun rights, your freedom of speech, your freedom of religion to protest, expression, even your freedom to have a fair trial. All of your 10 amendments rights he's going to target. It's going to get worse. You think he's going to close the borders? That's what he's telling you people. Look what he did to China. One second, he was friendly with the Chinese leader. Another second, he's pointing fingers at the Chinese leader, saying that they're oppressing America. You see how he, uh, one minute he's a friend to you, and he's got his fingers crossed behind his back. One minute he's a friend to you, and he's got an, a knife 
stabbing you in the back. That means he's double standing. He's a hypocrite. He doesn't care. This man is nominated as a Republican president. And people, not only in Indiana, but across the country, are celebrating. Ladies and gentlemen, a dark cloud, thicker than the one that, when, that blanketed the country when Obama was elected, just hovered, just covered the United States. Just covered the United States. I feel something bad is coming. I feel like something is coming and it's going to be something we're not going to expect. I'm not talking about the rapture. I'm talking about something bad on this nation. You think Obama, I mean, oh, uh, Trump cares about Israel? No. Trump does not care about Israel. Trump is going to move forward where Obama left off and he is going to make sure that Israel is divided. He's going to make sure that Muslim immigrants make it to this nation. He is going to make sure that Islam has more rights than any other faith and that Islam is the dominant religion. The only true faith is Jesus Christ. Jesus is not pleased with any of this. He specifically told me that either Trump is going to be president or somebody just like him, worse than him. I asked the father again, is Trump going to be president? The father told me this is something he cannot reveal to me yet. He only reveals what he feels he needs to reveal at that time, and I respect the father's wishes. Now, I had another dream this morning about Trump. I was at a poll. I mean, a voting poll. I was just observing. Okay? And I was watching as they were taking tallies of the vote. The majority of the votes had Trump's name on it. I would say probably 90% of them. Does that mean that Trump is going to win the presidency? I believe it does. And again, I'm going back to the other dream that I had. I believe it's a parable the Lord is showing me, meaning that either Trump is going to win or somebody worse than Trump will win the presidency of the United States if Obama does not stay. There are those of you that prophesied Obama was the Antichrist. This is another message the Lord wants me to give you. You do not know who the Antichrist is, only the Father does. So when Obama leaves office and he's out of the picture, those of you that prophesied Obama was the Antichrist, you're going to be considered false prophets, because you already are, but you're going to be considered false prophets. People like that, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to start deleting their videos saying that they said Obama was the Antichrist. They're going to start deleting their videos. I'm telling you right now, they're going to start. I've been shown, okay, that no man knows who the Antichrist is. So if somebody's proclaiming that boldly, you're doing a dangerous thing because you're deceiving many people. These people that prophesied Obama was the Antichrist, you are going to be totally wrong because I don't believe he is. Only the Lord knows. But I'm saying when this man leaves office and he is not um, leading the Daniel 9.27 prophecy, in other words, the, 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 the covenant between Israel and many nations, and he is not brokering that like the Bible says that he would, then you're going to be considered a false prophet. Obama is either going to stay in office or he's going to leave. If he leaves, a president worse than him is going to step in place. That's either going to be Trump or somebody just like Trump. Okay, I just had to get that out there. As always, test the spirits. Take what I say to the Lord Jesus Christ directly in prayer, please.